Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. Uh, so I put up this video yesterday uh, titled SJWs Chased Artists Out of Art of Oh Jesus. SJWs Chased Artists Out of Art and Art Out of Artists. And it did great. I'm so like I'm so beside myself with happiness about how good this video did. Uh, it's about to hit 10,000, which is like Double with the the comic book review the idea that I could do an esoteric video about like art and life man And you know get uh, good solid views. Oh boy. That's uh, it's a really good feeling going into the new year So go check that one out uh, Iron sights two psychos iron sights two psychos graphic novel uh, I'm busy right now with uh, one of the probably <laughs> so uh, uh, sometimes, you know, you write a script all at once and you give it to the artist. But this one, I literally did like five, ten pages at a time. And, and, uh, then when I had like, I got up to like page 50 or 60, I go, okay, I need to plan to wrap this up. So I did like a more traditional bunch of script pages for the end. But for the first couple, so this is a, a flashback, uh, to, uh, the main character, um, back in Iraq, um, and I gotta say, as I was getting these pages, pretty much usually the day or the day after I got a page, I would letter it. And so a lot of times, the first time I just do what I call placeholder dialogue. I just, just whatever, just, just a gist of what I'll, I'll, I'll because I, I letter the Ironsides book. So I change them right until the last second when it goes to print. Um, and I gotta say, like, there was some egregiously bad placeholder dialogue. And the solution is very, very simple. Number one, it's a visual medium, so the art takes priority. Um, uh, so just a lot of my, my editing was just taking out entire balloons. Nope, 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 nope. And then uh, the other one is just say it out loud. <laughs> just say it out loud. I mean, that should be the rule for everything. But, you know, I'm doing a lot of things. Uh, you know, uh, so, uh, you know, just typing it. No, no, no. Just, just say it out loud. It's so easy. Um, so uh, getting back to uh, this. So, yeah, Iron Sights uh, 2 Psychos is still available. Uh, Jawbreakers uh, is... Um, getting out to people and they're loving it jawbreakers god king so uh every day i get a whole bunch of uh cool videos uh, or cool pictures like this this is the uh, uh main cover and the main pinup and butterfly knife and a couple other uh weapons this is a um is this is a review I, I love seeing my book next to other books because that's just what it's supposed it's just supposed to be a book on your shelf that you like that's all it was supposed to be i have to get into a three-year federal lawsuit uh just to get uh you know my books onto shelves whether they be store shelves or people shelves but that's what it's about it's just getting stuff on shelves and people liking it from the thumbs up so uh anyway uh, a couple days ago somebody sent me a topic and some of them, some ideas are very obviously like, I'm going to do a video on that right now. And some you got to kind of think about it for a while. Um, I had someone sent me uh, another one this morning and it was, it was a tweet. So I was like, ah, I'm really not trying to do tweets or bleeding cool. But I, I almost did a video and then I saw like the last sentence was like a, or like the last little bit of the tweet was a joke. So it's like, now I can do a whole video and they can say, well, the whole thing was a joke. I was, oh, okay, so dump that one. But anyway, someone sent me two covers. Two covers. Uh, for uh, First of all, uh, DC is doing a series of uh, YA novels, and I'm going to go back so I can remember what they're called, what the series is called. DC Icons series. Um, and you know, you can see they do uh, Wonder Woman, Catwoman, Superman, Batman. So... The characters, every, pretty much everyone, well, every, everyone knows these characters, and pretty much everyone uh, likes. Although, um, I gotta say, I noticed something different. So these were novels, you know, prose, and then they did graphic novel adaptations of the novels, the YA novels. And let's, let's notice something interesting. Okay, novel. 
graphic novel, novel, graphic novel. Now you might not have noticed it, but your brain did, is that um, apparently the old uh, Wonder Woman and Bruce Wayne have gotten some uh, accessories, some fashion accessories. Uh, Wonder Woman has gotten an earring, specifically a left earring, and uh, Bruce Wayne has gotten uh, a necklace. Uh, you might now, <laughs> I think most people get what I'm saying, uh, but for people who don't uh, notice, the novel covers are some pretty good digital art. I will not say great, I prefer a, a painted cover, but it's, it's pretty good digital art. I would actually call it kind of stylish and borderline elegant, although digital art never really gets elegant, now does it? <laughs> but it's good. Uh, people have heard of Wonder Woman. They recognize the symbol. The symbol's done well, and this this kind of elegant, mysterious. Uh, you know why 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 is she partially in shadow? That's interesting to me. With uh, uh, Bruce Wayne, it's more just like cool. You know, uh, blue tones, and you know, uh, what, what's he looking to the left for? It's it's like a cool, mysterious look. Not as good as the uh, Wonder Woman, but these are both uh, quite good. I'm guessing it's the same artist on both of them. Um, and yet, when they do the... Now, this is YA. It's it's young adult. It's specifically for... I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Although, from what I heard, um, I don't really read. <laughs> I had a really good reading phase in, like, uh, uh, I don't know, 94? I was, uh, I was uh, back at school... And I was just going crazy reading every everything everything in Western literature that was written. I was I was reading it all the classics, all the all the what I call Jeopardy books, all the books they ask about on Jeopardy. I've read like every single one, and I read every single one in a period of like a year and a half. And then I just kind of wore myself out. I mean, hundreds of novels. I was reading sometimes a novel a day if it was a if it was like a shorter one, like a Kurt Vonnegut book. Uh, so I, I did my time. I did my time in novel reading, but now I I need I need pictures because the pictures tell me what I'm supposed to look at. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is the YA. It's it's mainly made for younger people, but adults also read it. And then that that's a also a good way to describe comics. Although really, comics are kind of more for mainly adults because of the price. And then what do they do? when they go to the comic book adaption. Now, number one, the art just gets a step down. I mean, they keep the basic layout concept of have a, a Wonder Woman symbol and uh, right there in the middle. Uh, but what they do is uh, they current year it up. First of all, we get some okay-ish art where I would say this is above average digital art. Um, and this is uh, slightly above average too. But what they do is they get real, real pandering. These characters, uh, I think this character's name is Aaliyah, uh, they are characters in the book, and they are major characters, but you see where the appeal, when you're selling for you know bookstore shelves to the massive YA audience, you go, we got a Wonder Woman book, we're going to put Wonder Woman and have her look beautiful. You do a, a Batman or a young Batman, you go, uh, we're doing a Batman book. We're gonna have Bruce Wayne, and he's gonna be handsome. And then, uh, then with uh, comics, it just becomes just like just pandering. It's like, hey, we have a black. We we were worried you wouldn't know we have a black woman in the book, so we had to put a black woman there because blacks are very uh, fashionable. I mean, we care about them so much in our hearts. And then. Uh, you know, Bat, you know, Batman, Nightwalker. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, and then we get, uh, hey, there's a woman. Cause if you might have, you might have thought there was o there was only men in the book. Cause, cause there's only a man on the cover. But there's a woman. Uh, women, uh, they're fashionable. I mean, we care about them in our, in our hearts. Um, I just got embarrassed. Like I actually have really been. I was gonna change the channel name, and and now I've kind of decided to uh, to keep it into the next year uh, because I mean the comic book industry is just it's just so full of charlatans and idiots and just 
losers, losers, just bone deep losers. I've been saying this to my friends lately. I don't, I don't remember how I thought about it, but I was like, I was talking about the losers in the comic book industry. And I said, losers will always lose. A loser can lie flat on the ground and somehow still figure out a way to slip and break their leg. Uh, you were lying on the floor. How did, you were already on the floor. How did you... Losers will find a way to continue losing. And that's how uh, comic books are. You know, you have something that's a, a good design and then you uh, make it... I mean, this isn't even a good design. Uh, is the woman on the right as popular remotely as Wonder Woman? No. So the Wonder Woman, it's not Wonder Woman and Aaliyah. Warbringers, it's Wonder Woman Warbringer. So she should be the number one element there. Now, if you want to do a composition that shows supporting characters, that's fine, but that's not weird. They make them some kind of weird dyad or couple here. And then this one is just so much like this is a good, this right here, the novel, this is a good composition. Putting, I guess, the female lead upside down is just weird. It's not even properly balanced at all. Um, so yeah, so what this is, is again, this is the, this is the extremely cynical library game. Uh, if you go to an American library, uh, especially in the kids section, it is hilariously sad how pandering book publishers are and how easily manipulated librarians are. If you go to an American library into the kids section, you will think that Marcus Garvey and Sojourner Truth not only founded the country, but discovered it. Now, you know, obviously there's multiple different reasons for having different versions of, you know, historical uh, personages of note. Um, and, you know, you're going to have multiple books on Washington or Churchill or Lincoln or I don't know. I was, I was trying to think of Ramses, and I said, and my, I almost said Baphomet. <laughs> um, there's, you know, there's going to be different takes. You're going to have the the old book from the 1950s, and they're going, oh, we got some new. Uh, we just found out that uh, George Washington had a mustache, and it was hidden from history. So there's going to be a book called George Washington's Mustache. Why did they hide it? Um, but like, you go there, you know, and you're helping, you know, one of your kids find a book, and Oh, I gotta do a, I gotta do a, you know, essay on George Washington. Okay, well, there's five books. And then you're walking by and you'll see this huge section. And I am not kidding. I am not kidding. The Martin Luther King section will have 40 to 50 books in a small local neighborhood library. Marcus Garvey will have 10. Sojourner Truth will have 20. 20 different books, books on Sojourner Truth because... The, the publishers, they emotionally blackmail. So we got our 800th book on Sojourner Truth librarians. Are you going to buy it? They're like, eh, well, no. Oh, okay, so you hate black women and all blacks and you hate all women. And you hate all, all black women. You, you, you hate black women. You hate them and you support Hitler. Fine. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yes, please. Well, now that you're ordering our... 800th book on Sojourner Truth. We also have our 500th book on Marcus Garvey. And they're really a package. I mean, if you don't get the Marcus Garvey book, we're kind of thinking you hate all black men. I mean, come on. Am I right? Am I right? So, I mean, what we see, what we see is a worse, is worse art. Although, it's not much worse for this one. Um, uh, ruining the, the composition. But mainly just pandering. Again, um, emotionally blackmailing librarians into spending... Uh, uh, taxpayer money, because that's what most American libraries are. They're funded by uh, uh, city taxes, mostly. Um, and it's just, it's just dumb. It's just dumb and pandering. And it just shows, you know, they like to pat themselves on the back for being woke, but they're not woke. This, this, is, this, is, uh, this is all about money. You can emotionally blackmail people. I mean, back in the day, you know, 1950s, if you ever watched those 1950s commercials, I swear that how old would a if a, if you were a housewife in 1950? Well, you'd be dead. Say you were 20 in 1959. That would, oh god, I have to get the Okay, so you'd be dead. What I'm saying is, uh, they were emotionally battered 
by marketers and advertisers. They were basically like, hey there, bitch. Why don't you stop being a complete piece of shit and have a shinier kitchen floor? Um, uh, like, they're rough. Um, so now it's more like they know what their audience is. They know that comic shops are, jeez, I was reading this article about diamond distributors and they were talking about the direct market. And by like 1986, there were 5,000 comic book stores in America. Oh, jeez, there's like not even 2,000 right now. But they've uh, figured out their remaining audience and it's woke librarians. And they're like, what will get a woke librarian to say yes every time? Okay, black woman. Okay, fine. Yeah, we got we got to order that or we're racist. Okay, uh, female. Okay, we got to order that. Or like, no, 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 no. It's not called Wonder Woman and Buddy. It's not called Batman and someone. Look at how novels present this professionally. Wonder Woman Warbringer. There's Wonder Woman right there. Batman Nightwalker. And then people know enough about Batman to realize that's Bruce Wayne. I would have said Dick Grayson, though, just from... If it, if it, if it hadn't been labeled as a Batman book. But, hey, if you thought there were no black women, we, we, we just... We, we, there is one. She's on the cover. Yes, cause so you don't have to worry. Oh, if you... You pro oh, I, this is a common misconception. If there's a man on the cover, you're going to assume that only men are in the book. Well, uh, we put a woman on the cover upside down awkwardly. So you know that that wasn't true. That you were uh, confused. Yeah, people get confused sometimes. It happens. Stop. Stop with the pandering. Stop with the, the treating human beings as fashion accessories. In this case, Wonder Woman's earring and Bruce Wayne's necklace. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the GoFundMe and the Indiegogo. You're funding original content and an original lawsuit. Iron Sights, Two Psychos, still available to order. I'm uh, finishing up the, uh, the final dialogue pass, which is basically rewriting almost all of the dialogue. Um, but that, that goes very, very quickly when I'm doing the lettering. I, just, I literally just rewrite it on the page. I'll read it out loud. Eh, change it a little bit. All right, save the page. Um, and then Jawbreakers, people are loving it. Uh, overprinted by, well, at the time, I overprinted by like 1,500, but then we've got about 700 more backers. So there's about, uh, you know, 700 uh, left. Uh, so uh, jump on that. Uh, there is a, there is a, um, this has actually even been recommended by Indiegogo. They, they're like, uh, just start a new campaign for, you know, the remaining ones. I go, I, I like to have all of the number on one number. You know what I mean? On one campaign. I don't like when people say, hey, I made this much, but you got to go to Kickstarter and then add this to Indiegogo. No, no, I just, I like just to have one. But I understand, you know, that it's a human impulse. Oh, it's a new one. That's more interesting than do you want to back the, the one from, that's been out for four or five months. But... Uh, let me know what you think about that. Restarting a new one. I mean, I could do a new one tomorrow. Um, uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'm not sure what the next uh, video will be. I'm out of comics from last week because they put out such little content. Um, I got some graphic novels. I'll probably dip into one of those. Thanks for watching. Bye.